first a difficult command based on the attention span of the puppy and also um, how easy it is for them to get down. Now he's a very roly-poly, playful, floppy little guy. So having him go down is a great way to kind of get him to calm down a little bit and um, focus on you. And I have his leash on him just so in the event that he gets a little distracted, he can't make a getaway. I want him to be working right now, if only for five minutes. Yes. All right, so previously I did try doing the luring method, luring him down, but instead of him kind of going down like this, he either went down like that or he started walking and his whole body started going forward. So, instead of doing that luring method, all I'm going to do is, it helps if your hands smell like some treats, but he's going to be focusing on me. I'm asking to go down, and when he um, does not go down, I'm just slowly going to put my fingers right behind his paw pads and slowly ease him down, and then once he's in the position that I desire, then he can get his reward to some delicious treats. Make sure he's in the camera there. Good boy. All right, so have my stuff here. Oh, sit. There you go. Now first, I'm just going to ask him to go down, and I'm going to give him the, uh, the command and also the hand signal. Oh, down. Down. Ah. All right, so he's very, very close. But since he doesn't go all the way down, I'm looking for his elbows and his chest to be resting fully on the floor. So even if he kind of gets into a crouching position, he's not really touching the floor. So unfortunately, I can't give him any, no, I can't give him any affection or any treats. Oh. So we're going to have to do it again. Bring him around right over here so we get a nice profile shot. Try this one more time. Down. Good down, Bo. Good down. As you can see, elbows and chest is touching the floor. It's exactly what I want. Oh, that's it. And like I said before, if he does not go down, if it's a little difficult, you can just ask him to go down. And of course he did when I was expecting him not to. But just reach around, sit, 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 Just reach around behind his paws and slowly um, ease him down. So we're not using any force, we're not pushing him down. He's actually doing the motion, which is exactly what you want when you're training your dog. Let's do this one more time. Down. Good, down. He's made a lot of progress since the first time. When I do ask him to go down, instead of just going right from his face and telling him to go down this way, I have him go down and I slowly pull my finger back towards myself. Let's do this one more time. Since he's so focused on food, I'm just going to take this leash off.
right behind his little paws. Good, down. And then just slowly ease him down. Let's try this one more time. Here with this. We'll see you guys later. This has been Nicole here with Rainbow going over.